Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson will be on model place value uh, relationships. So for us teachers, I teach in Sacramento, um, our common core strand is given here, and we're going to use place value understanding together with uh, multi-digit whole numbers to see that uh, a digit in one place represents ten times uh, what it represents in the place to its right. Okay, so how do we describe uh, the value of a digit? So this lesson hopefully will help you uh, describe the values of digits here. So we're going to uh, uh, build numbers through 10,000 using uh, base 10 blocks. So here, here is the 1. 1 is represented using a cube. Can you see that cube right here? Sorry, I didn't have any colored uh, cubes on this uh, slide here. So uh, there's 1 right there. And to represent 10, uh, this is called a long. And I, I don't know why they chose uh, the word long, but they did. I guess because it's longer than that one right here. So, so here's uh, 10 uh, small cubes stacked on top of each other, and it makes this long, and it, and, it, and it represents 10 ones right here. Okay, this one is called a flat, and what it did was is it put 10 of these longs together. So there's 10 longs going across right here, and it made a flat. And so if you can count by 10, here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's why there were 100 cubes in here. So this flat represents, how many tens does it represent? It represents 10 of these longs right here. So I'm going to put the number 10 right here, okay? So it represents 10, okay? All right, and then uh, the next one is going to be, uh, when I put 10 of those together right there, it makes a cube. And can you see 10 flats being lined right there? And then so what happens is inside this cube is there's a thousand of these little guys inside of here. Okay, there's a thousand. It's hard to see them. Well, you can't see them because they're hidden inside of there. So this cube right here represents... Um, uh, how many of these hundreds right here? Well, there's 10 of these hundred flats going back right there, so there's going to be 10 right there. So there's 10 hundreds in this cube of a thousand right there. So what, let's just keep following the pattern right here, you guys. What if we wanted to go to 10,000? Well, let's go ahead and follow the pattern here. The name of it would be, it's just going to follow this pattern. It goes from cube to long to flat to cube again. So what goes after cube? Well, over here, it's going to be a long right here. And notice it, um, it just keeps going times 10, times 10. So this is going to be 10 um, uh, inside of here. So uh, it's, it just keeps following that pattern right there. Okay, does that make sense? All right, we're going to use that pattern over and over again. So here it is right here. Uh, a small cube represents one. So uh, one small cube makes a... Um, um, uh, represents uh so 10 of them will get me the long right here okay so 10 small cubes makes a long sorry i wasn't reading my uh, typing there very well 10 small cubes makes this long right here okay and and the long represents 10 of these guys right here so how many longs make a flat well how many longs made a flat 10 of the longs made a flat and the flap represented how many of them it represented 100 right there okay it represented 100 okay so how many flats make up a large cube? Well, how many flats made up a large cube? Ten of these flats made up a large cube right here, and the large cube represented a thousand right there. Okay? All right, so um, uh, it just keeps going times ten times ten. So explain how you can use the ten thousands longs to model a hundred thousand. Okay? So we can use ten ten thousand longs to make the flat uh, that shows the ten, uh, the one hundred thousands. Okay, remember it follows that pattern: cube, long, flat, cube, um, and then so it go long, flat, cube, and it just keeps following that pattern right there. So describe uh, the pattern in the shapes of the models. What will be the shape of the model of the ten thousand? Okay, so the ten thousand is right here. What will be the shape? It's going to be this long right here because it goes cube, long, flat, cube, and so the shape is going to be another long right there. Okay, so the pattern uh, goes cube, long, flat, cube, and so on. So the shape of the model for the 10,000 is going to be in the long pattern. Okay, all right, so describe uh, the pattern that you see in the sizes of the models. Okay, we just kind of just did that. So how will the size of the model of the 100,000 compared to the size of the model for the 10,000, okay? Well, how are they going to compare? Well, notice they're just going, um, uh, there's 10 of them. So there's 10 of these longs right here makes up um, this flat right here. 
Okay, and this flat made a hundred, so ten of the hundreds makes up this cube of a thousand. Okay, and then ten of the thousands would make this long of the ten thousands right here. So it just keeps following that. So each model is ten times the size of the previous model. So the model for the hundred thousand is going to be ten times the size of the model of the ten thousand, and so on. Just keeps going times ten. All right, so the value of a digit uh, depends on its position in the number. Okay, so the place value chart below, this is our place value chart, and we'll use this in the next lesson also, uh, is used to help. So each value of each place is 10 times the value to the place value of the right. So this is 10 times this value. This hundreds is 10 times this value. This uh, one thousands is ten times this value. This ten thousands is ten times this value, and so on. So that's what this says right here. The value of each place is ten times the value of the place to its right right there. Okay, so we're going to write uh, uh, 987, 614 in the chart. Okay, so here's 987,614 in this chart right here, and then we're going to find the value of the digit 8 right here. Okay, so this is this represents 8 ten thousands. This represents 900 thousands. This is 7 one thousands, or just 7 thousands. This is 600 ones, or just 600s. This is 1 ten ones, or just 110 and this is uh, fours, okay? So that's what's going to go right here. 900,000 and they wanted us to focus on the, the eight, so eight ten thousands, okay? And so on right there. All right, sorry about my small font. I couldn't fit it on this chart right here unless I made it a really small uh, font right there. So this represents 80 thousands. 80 ten thousands is 80 thousands right there, okay? So uh, the value of the digit 8 in the 8 ten thousands or 80 thousands. It represents 80 thousands right here, okay? So this is in the, thou the ten thousands spot. So this is 80 thousands. That 8 is what it represents. Okay, so compare the values of the underlying digits. Okay, so here I've underlined both the fours in these guys, and they want us to compare the values, okay? So what we're going to do is put them in um, uh, this place value chart right here. I'm going to represent uh, the 5,401 in this one. So the 5 is going to go here, the 4 here, the 0 here, and the 1 here. And then on this one here, I'm going to represent the 17. This is in the thousands. This is 10,000. This is 1,000. So this seven's or this one's going to go right here. This seven's going to go right here, 249. Now I made some room on this other chart right here, so I just moved it up right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and place those numbers in their appropriate spots right there. Okay, so now the value of the uh, the digit four is in the hundreds spot right here. Okay, so it represents 400, whereas this 4 is in the tens spot, so it represents just 40 right there. Does that make sense? I hope so, you guys. Okay, so each each 100 is 10 times as many as the tens. So this 100 is 10 times as many as this tens spot right here. So 4 uh, four hundreds is ten times as many as four tens. Okay, so the value of the four in the five thousand four hundred one is ten times the value of the four in the seventeen thousand two hundred forty nine. Okay, so the ten goes right there. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and model these, you guys. Let's model this uh, four for four hundred right here, and then we'll model the four for the forty right here. Okay, so there's the model of the four hundreds. There would be four flats of a hundred right there. That represents this four right here. And then this four is in the tens spot, so that represents the four longs of the tens right there. Okay? Uh, so explain how you can compare the values of the digits without drawing a model. Well, we just did that, you guys. We can use the place value chart like we just did. Uh, then uh, the value of the, of the digit is 10 times what it would be to the place value position to its right. Remember, the more you go to the left, the bigger the value gets. So uh, the 400 was 10 times as big as the 40. All right, I hope that makes sense, you guys. And if you find that these do, then, then please click like. And otherwise, take care, everybody. Welcome back to school.